It's so funny to me. So let's go. What does conversion mean? Thousand people passing your store, and if somebody walking into the store and buying something, he is converted. Yes or yes? And now remember the most important thing in life today. And as an artist, you have it, you have it like nobody else. It is so beautiful. Remember, remember this. It is easier to sell a $200 product to somebody who already at least paid a dollar or like two dollars with you than give something out for free or for like 50 cents with somebody who never bought from you. Let me explain. Let me do, say it again. If somebody bought something from you for five dollars or one dollar, whatever, it is easier to approach the same person and sell him something for two hundred dollars than giving out something for free or making people buying something from you for fifty cents, even though your product is worth thousand bucks. Let me show you. Picture you have a restaurant and you're trying to get somebody. You're trying to get somebody in to buy something from you. How hard is it to convert, to get somebody into your store converting if they don't know you? Picture you walk in Fifth Avenue, somebody come up, hey, I got the best restaurant. We have a five-star, five-star cook. You will love it. You get it. You know what? You just pay one dollar. You're like, get off of me. What's wrong with you? Right? <laughs> yes or yes? But picture that's this guy coming into the store, and he, every day he comes, he just gets one drink for the five, five bucks. What is the chance? Because he already committed to you with five dollars, you can look at him. And now listen, now the second thing, you make money by caring. Write it down. That's new business. Who's talking about is Gary Vaynerchuk. Caring. Because by being, be, being careful and caring for this person, you get information. What did Rodney say? The most important thing as a musician, as an artist. Information. If you want to become rich, you know whose information you need? Your listeners. Not, not rich people, listeners. Whoever is involved with you, that's your biggest asset. If you have just one person, one ear listening to you, that's your asset. You're not using it because you're focused too much on the leads. There are people already following you. If you would just listen to them and talk to them and figure out, okay, this guy who's just leaving here $5 a day, you know what? Why are you coming every day? They will tell you, yes or yes. They will tell you, you know what? I love this drink. You, you, I can ask, you can ask them, where else do you buy your food? When is your birthday? What are you doing for Christmas? Why? I have something special for you. Because... Just trust me. Will he trust you? He come, come to your place every day, $5. Will he trust you? So you say, trust me, I prepare something really big for you. Why? Because I? Because I? Because I? People are willing to buy from you if they feel you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I might say on Christmas, I prepare this amazing food, amazing meal. You just bring your mom, your girlfriend, your brother, and instead of paying whatever, a thousand bucks, you just pay 500 and I'll just prepare it for you. Is it more likely that you get him to convert and pay more dollars? Yes or yes? Yeah. Yes. Because if you have leads, it goes into being a customer, right? And then we have the third turning, turning, turning point. What's the word? Turning. And the number, next thing, which is important. I hurry up. My, my, my time is running out. <laughs> we say numbers of transaction. Transaction. So the way to make more money is by staying with your customers Staying with your already existing audience and just building more products and getting something to them, they would buy. You know what the problem is with artists who are broke? It's all about them. My music. My creativity. My shit. I want to do whatever I want to do. 
I'm saying, yeah, this, this, you can do it, but it's just the wrong order. You serve first, and then you do whatever you want to do. So you ask them, what's the music you like? You know why? You want to listen to something I might not want to listen to, but you like it, and I can do it better than you. So I serve something to you. I might do a collaboration. Oh, I might have shirts. I might have something. I don't know. You know how you can, you, you be your own production company. You know how? You know what's the most important thing on Instagram right now? What do you think is the most important thing on Instagram right now? If you, mm -mm, mm -mm, all about you, mm, all about you. Uh -huh. Intention, yes, but analytics are all about, all about you. The fucking comments in their Instagram pages. If you just fucking reply, get on their Instagram page. If somebody follows me with only five followers, I'm like, oh, money right there. <laughs> Why? If I just go on their page and just click, I like, I like, I like. I'm like, oh my God, he liked my pictures. <laughs> Nobody's liking my pictures. He has 40,000 followers. I'll follow him for the rest of my life. <laughs> There's some broke people just doing their pictures. And all. I'm like, that's why you broke. It's all about you. You should be putting out content maybe an hour a day and six hours a day. You surf by giving your attention to people who don't get attention. Why? You can talk to them even in your comments. You know how you get big? By starting small. By being the person. You know who does it right now and people don't get it? Will Smith. All the greats talking about, oh, I would never do it. I'm like, that's why you'll be out of the game three years from now. That's what Blockbuster and all those big companies said. Netflix, like, yeah, we'd be small. Get out. <laughs> we do the things nobody else would do so we can get the things nobody else gets. We start to surf. And if you do it very early, you don't have to do that much. Meaning, what is he doing right now? He's giving the attention to other people. Like he just turn, he just does one thing different than everybody else. Instead of talking and being filmed, he's talking to you and being filmed. Every celebrity does this. He does this. And you're like, oh, I'm going to follow him. And all artists, but where? Will says, I don't know, but because I'm the first. I'm the first celebrity who just, hey, I'm going to film something for you. <laughs> yeah, he gets attention. Because he gets attention, and this is what all the influencers does. They, they, do, they do one thing differently than all the celebrities. As Tonio, he's not filmed like this. He started filming by looking into the camera. Okay, I'll hurry up. So you have a couple of products. You sell them products, even small products. But the products is never based on what you want. The products is based on what they ask you to produce. You get that? Oh, my time is running, that's why I hurry up. The next thing is your average, how do you do average? Average dollar sale. You raise your price point. You know how you raise your price point? Freaking branding. If you just get a better branding, and there are multiple ways. I can't go get into depth right now. If you get a better branding, you can raise your price point. There are multiple ways. One way is, for example, me speaking here at Harvard, I raise my price point. I raise my profile. Collaborating with somebody, raise your, right? There are a bunch of ways.